The Siberian Husky and German Shorthaired Pointer are vastly popular dogs that may have more similarities than you might think. If you are considering either one of these breeds, stay tuned as we take a look at these two breeds to hopefully help you select which breed could be the next perfect canine companion for you and your family. Welcome back to the Fenrir Husky Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to you learning everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible Siberian Husky and then how you can become a high level canine leader that raises perfect Husky companions. So if you love them as much as we do here at Fenrir, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss one of our future Husky videos. So let's dive into today's video to start off with the differences in looks between these two incredible breeds. The Husky is a primitive breed and as such it is really no shock that it has a, a wolfy appearance with its long narrow muzzle, perked ears and long cold resistant coat. They come in regular and long coat varieties and in a multitude of colours. The German Shorthead Pointer on the other hand has a very hound-like appearance with floppy ears, long elegant legs with an athletic body. Their coats are short and the colours available are versions of solid, patch patterns and roaned. They are a breed of medium stature standing upwards of around 25 inches tall. When it comes to exercise and grooming, the German Short Haired Pointer is going to be easier. Their coats are short and they are low maintenance, only needing brushing once a week with a firm bristle brush and they do shed occasionally. The Husky doesn't require as much work as you might think outside of shedding season. They are considered a more naturally clean breed as they don't have much of a doggy-like smell to them. The Husky does need to be groomed a couple of times a week and shedding season is when you really need to put in more effort to help them shed out that undercoat. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever ever homes so if you're interested in following my journey of how i do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below i think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching for exercise the husky is probably going to be a little bit less demanding but not by much both of these breeds are active. The German Short Haired Pointer is a very active breed. They need an excellent physical outlet or become incredibly destructive. The Husky is also an active breed and they were refined as a breed to be able to cover large amounts of rough terrain as quickly as possible. And they do need space to run and because of this breed's independent nature, this space needs to be secure so they can't get themselves lost before you or they have realised what's happened. A husky can relax though once they have been given a workout. In comparison, the German short haired pointer will always be ready for action at the drop of a hat. Now, as we go forward with the rest of the video, it has to be with the assumption that each of these dogs are being given proper socialization and training from a young age and that they are of good, correct temperament and disposition for its breed standards. That way we can really fairly compare them. Now, these two breeds have varied temperaments, but they share their love and devotion for their people and families. Being more primitive, the Husky is very pack-oriented, so they need people or other dogs around. The German Short-Haired Pointer just loves their family to pieces. They are in in enthusiastic people-pleasers. However, the Husky is friendly with everyone and can't even be counted on to serve or sound an alarm, whereas the German Short-Haired Pointer will fill this role nicely and make a decent watchdog. German short head pointers will alert to strangers and can be a little bit reserved with people until they do really get to know them. Now, this is where we start to see very different breeds. The German short head pointer can be independent, but the husky is much more so. The husky is also mischievous, and while they like their people close, they can just go and do their own thing quite happily. Whereas the GSP is just exuberant, friendliness, and your own personal shadow wrapped up in an attractive hunting dog package. Now, both of these breeds are intelligent, but the GSP is going to be the easier of the two to train by far. Their energy and biddable mindset just give a potential owner more to work with. The Husky is trainable, but their independence can get the better of them. They can both benefit from turning your training routines into a game. This helps the German Short Haired Pointer burn off some steam and keeps the Husky engaged and interested in learning. Now, if you have children in the home, either of these breeds would be a good choice. The only thing to be wary of is their high energy levels. The Husky and the GSP can get a little too hyped up and accidentally knock over a small child, even if it's completely by accident. 
Now, if you have small animals, you might want to look elsewhere. These two breeds have a wicked high prey drive and it is deeply embedded in them. They can, and we use that with caution, do well if raised with small animals. But some individuals out there that the urge to chase and catch is just too deeply ingrained in them and you don't want to be setting your dog up for failure. So I hope you enjoyed that quick fire breakdown of these two wonderful, glorious breeds. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two dedicated Siberian Husky videos coming to this channel every single week and I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Siberian Husky Show.